I know I'm going to kill this shit. And so I went to Minneapolis 1995, and I'm from Augusta, Georgia. I've been in Augusta, Georgia since I can remember. I was just, you know, and this, this is the thing. A lot of people want to talk about economic uh, uh, situations when I, I lived in the fucking hood, okay? I've been around melanated brothers and sisters since day one, and they my peoples, okay? And when you go, to, I don't know if any of y'all ever been to Minneapolis, but let me tell you something, there ain't no motherfucking black people in Minneapolis. <laughs> I was there for a whole year, and I saw two black people, and I thought they was unicorns. <laughs> I went to a Burger King in Minneapolis, and the motherfucker was white and pretty as fuck, talking about, can I help you? Nice as shit. <laughs> and I just remembered to myself the first time that I was at Burger King in Augusta, Georgia, motherfucker was like, what the fuck you want? <laughs> I said, I want uh, no mayonnaise on my Whopper. This bitch was like, oh. <laughs> Hold up on that Whopper, motherfuckers. These motherfuckers out here talking about they don't want no goddamn mayonnaise on that shit. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck they at, but uh, Burger King does not do it your way. Okay? Not in Augusta, Georgia. Now, the funny thing is, is years later, I moved to Washington, D.C., and I was like, oh shit, this is my place. There's a lot of motherfuckers down here that I know. And the crazy thing was, is I was in the ghetto, and I was with my people, but we literally could see the Washington Monument. And all of this white shit going on, and we's down here, we ain't even got no grass in our lawn. And they was like, oh man, uh, we gonna go and see the National Monument, and we gonna go see the Lincoln Memorial Center and all this stuff. And we're sitting there in our yards going, these motherfuckers, they stupid. Now this is the thing, whenever we became legal in Washington State and Colorado, I was like, I called myself going, I'm going to move to Washington State, and I'm going to grow weed. It's going to be awesome. Now, I get to Olympia, Washington, and I meet my cousin, and he's white bread and a motherfucker, okay? And I like breakfast, so every morning I tried to go to the same breakfast spot to have breakfast, and I kept looking for black people. Washington State ain't got no black people. I kept looking for black people. And one day, I called myself out there, rolling up a blunt out behind in the alley, right, of my breakfast spot. One of the cooks came out, and he was a melanated brother. And I was like, oh shit, unicorn. What the fuck is you doing in the back alley? And he said, I'm trying to roll this motherfucking joint. And I was like, you roll joints? And he's like, yeah, what you rolling? I said, blunt, motherfucker. And he's like, where the fuck are you from? And I said, Augusta, Georgia. Homer James Brown, motherfucker. And he said, oh, you ain't white, you black. <laughs> and I said, what you mean? He said, man, up here, you ain't white, you black. And I was like, why you say that? And he's like, look, man, I've been down south. I know what it's like down there. And the only place you can get a goddamn good service at, at a fast food restaurant, Chick fil A. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> one love, one love. You're lucky just to have just one love. One love. Y'all give it up for Happy Bones, man. The fuck did he put the mic in? Okay, we ain't worried about that. We're going to take it to the judges. Uh, happy. Did you, uh, did you forget where you're going with the Washington D.C. thing? A little bit. Okay. Well, well, here's no. Here's the important thing: is I don't even know if anybody else noticed, but like you, I could see kind of that you were forgetting where you were going, and you went right to the next fucking joke. That is good. That is great because I'm telling you, I can't tell you how many times I see that up there, and their whole set fucking dies right there. So the fact that, oh shit, I forgot where I'm going, let me go to the next one, that was an awesome job. 
Uh, I thought you did a pretty good job. I mean, again, it's one of these things you're just getting into this. I think once you develop your craft a little bit, you'll do a wonderful job. But the fact that you're already, and that, that shows your stage presence in the past, all the time you spent with music and all that stuff, because sometimes shit goes, you know, show must go on. You just keep clicking. So, I mean, I, I, I really enjoyed seeing that. So, good job. All right. Paul, Paul, what do you think about Happy Bones' performance? I agree with Snow. Uh, every week, you're better. Yep. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Classic pop way to wrap it up. <laughs> Marlon, what you think about Happy Bones' performance? That was a good performance, man. Uh, like I said, you're getting better every week. We see it. Your, uh, your life experiences, they show in your jokes. It gives you a lot of creativity. Your, your stage presence is awesome because of your performance background. So just keep at it, man, and uh, just progress every week, every week, man. You're getting better and better. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for Happy Bones. <laughs>